Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with Rhino Shield's new and improved add-on lens system for their Mod NX, Solid Suit, and Playproof cases. These have an improved photographic quality from previous versions, and they are a snap to get on and off your phone case. Let's take a closer look at these on my iPhone XR and iPhone XS Max. Looking at the two versions of the add-on lenses, we have a more basic version, which is the Wide Plus Macro, and then we have the fancier one, which is the 4K HD Wide Plus Macro. The 4K HD allows you to record in 4K, not exactly surprising given the name. Other than that, in terms of attachment, they attach onto the case in the same way and have basically the same usability, but you're going to get better photographic results with the 4K HD version than with your regular Wide Plus Macro. And in addition, it depends on which phone you're using. Using it with my iPhone XS Max, I got better results than with my iPhone XR. Looking in the box, you have a special soft protective pouch. You have the lens adapter, which is what is going to allow you to attach the lens onto your particular phone case. And then you have the lens itself. This is made of an anodized aluminum, really nicely made. You have a cap that protects the front of it, obviously, as well as the back. Everything feels nice quality with this. This is the smaller version here. This is the wide plus macro. And then for the big fancy one, we have the a little bit larger form factor. In terms of the way it works with the macro and the wide angle is that in order to get to the macro you simply unscrew the back part and take off the front and then you will get to your macro. You would just simply attach this part onto the phone and um, then not use it with the front part and then you are able to get the macro shots whereas if the entire thing is attached then you have a wide angle lens. So as I said in the beginning, in order to use these add-on lenses, you have to have one of Rhino Shield's Solid Suit Mod NX or Playproof cases. And then you also have to have the specific adapter that is going to work with your particular phone. So once you have the adapter and the case, you take the adapter and you slide it into the case so that it is flush with the case. Then next you're going to put your phone in. This here is Rhino Shield's solid suit case. More than 11 feet of drop protection, really nice case. Got a leather back. Love Rhino Shield's cases. Once installed, you can see that this lens adapter is extremely low profile. It does jet out very, very slightly, but almost not at all. This is much lower profile than Rhino Shield's previous lens adapter that they had for their old lens system. This really works very well. It is not irritating to leave on on a daily basis, and I think that it actually provides a little bit of protection for your camera lens, so that is excellent. So in order to attach it, you notice here at the top, we've got a little bit of a notch at the top. There's also one at the bottom, but honestly, that's just there for symmetry. You're not going to use this bottom section at all, just the top section. So that little notch here corresponds to a notch that is on the back of the lens. So this allows what they call a bayonet attachment. I didn't even know what that meant. I was curious how that was actually going to work. But basically, once uh, the lens slides in there, it just needs to be turned a quarter turn uh, clockwise, and it attaches perfectly. Very secure, no problem in order to take it off. Just do that. Really, really easy and extremely secure. The only thing that's easier than this is magnetic attachment. And honestly, magnetic attachment does tend to make me a bit on the nervous side because I always worry, oh no, if I whack it, it's going to fall off. Well, that's definitely not going to happen with this. This is a very nice, secure system. Looking at the same arrangement on my iPhone XR in Rhino Shield's Mod NX case, you can see we have a similar but not quite the same lens adapter here that has been installed. Um, and one thing about the Mod NX that you need to keep in mind, if you're not familiar with this case, you might not know that this also can be used as a bumper case. You can simply take off the back plate entirely and use it as a bumper. If you do that, it will not work with this system of lens adapters because there won't be anything to attach it to. So just be aware that if you're using this with Mod NX, you have to use it in backplate mode, not bumper mode. But that's just a little bit of an aside. So right now, you can see we have our lens adapter attached. Again, very low profile, not irritating at all, definitely not in the way. Uh, works really well with this case. So in order to attach the lens, it's the same exact thing that we just did. Just take it, put it in place, and do that little clockwise turn. Looks great. 
on there very securely and then to remove it simply just twist it off. You want to do that with a nice big lens here. Same thing here with our 4K lens. Just put it in place and twist it and it's on. Very, very secure. Not going to come off by accident which is excellent. If you want to use this in macro mode, simply just unscrew the pieces to take off your wide angle section and then you're going to attach it just with the macro lens in place. In terms of results, both lenses are good, but not surprisingly, the more expensive lens is going to give you better results than the less expensive one, particularly when it's used with the more expensive camera. As you know, of course, the iPhone XS Max is a better camera than the iPhone XR, and you can definitely see the difference here. Looking here at the same scene, shot with iPhone XS Max with no lens, with the 4K HD lens, and with the regular wide lens. And again with the iPhone XR with no lens, with the 4K HD lens, and with the wide lens. As you can see with both versions you get a considerably wider field of view. However, with the basic lens as opposed to the 4K HD version, you do have more curvature around the edges. The difference in performance between the two different macro lenses is particularly noticeable. The more expensive macro lens on the iPhone XS Max is much better than the less expensive macro lens on the iPhone XR. There's a huge difference between the two. That's much more of a stark difference than the difference between the wide angle lenses of the two different price points. If you were really into macro photography, I would definitely go with the more expensive lens. As you can see, the 4K HD lens is able to focus much more clearly on the subject and is able to have a larger amount of subject matter in view as opposed to the regular macro lens. The regular macro lens is okay, but it definitely pales in comparison with the 4K HD macro version. Overall, I think these add-on lenses are great. Really love their implementation. Love the fact that they are so easy to install and remove. That is huge right there, and it's going to make it much more likely that you actually use them as opposed to leaving them in a drawer all day. So I think that that is excellent in terms of the photographic quality. You're definitely going to be happier with your 4K HD. This one is really nice. But if all you want to do is take some wider group shots or something like that, then I think that the wide plus macro is definitely something to consider as well. I wasn't as impressed with its macro results, but its wide angle is perfectly acceptable and definitely the price is right. So definitely a product to consider here from the folks at Rhino Shield for the Solid Suit Mod NX and Playproof cases. Again, we've been looking at Rhino Shield's new system of add-on lenses, which are compatible with their Solid Suit Mod NX and Playproof cases. Got to have those cases in order to be able to use these lenses. And what's more, you also need a special adapter in order to make sure it's fitting with the correct phone. So the adapter is going to cost you $4.99, and then the lenses themselves are going to be $24.99 for your Wide Plus Macro and $59.99 for the 4K HD Wide Plus Macro. I will put links below where you can find out more about these products. Many thanks to the kind folks at Rhino Shield for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions about these products, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I have lots more great accessory reviews yet to come. Again, this is Kristen with the Rhino Shield system of add-on lenses. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.